Hi, Legacy family, it's Billy Jean. Thank you for your continued support and dedication to the sport of tennis we all love and for all you do for the children and families of this community. I'm so happy you're honoring my friend and doubles partner, Rosie Casals tonight. We go back a few, okay, a lot of years. She won 12 Grand Slam doubles and mixed doubles titles and was a two-time U.S. Open finalist. And she and I were undefeated in doubles representing the USA in Fed Cup. Rosie made history on and off the court as part of the original nine and as a founding member of the WTA. Rosie, I'm so proud of you and all that you've achieved for yourself and done for others. You are a legend, an inspiration, and someone I am privileged to call one of my best friends. Okay, my best friend. Congratulations, General. Where's Rosie? I'm here. No more speeding tickets, okay? This is tennis, not NASCAR. I mean, Rosie really had the most flair of anybody I've ever seen play. A rebel, a champion, a trailblazer. Rosie Casals is fearless on and off the court. She didn't just fight to level the playing field in professional tennis. She fought for the equal rights of all women. The daughter of parents who immigrated from El Salvador to Northern California, Rosie was no country club kid. She taught herself the game in the shadows of the Golden Gate Bridge on San Francisco's public tennis courts. She didn't have fancy clothes, brand name rackets, or nice white shoes, but she did have speed, power, and a relentless determination to prove she belonged. By 16, she was the top junior player in Northern California. One year later, she was number 11 in the country. Miss Rosemary Casals played tennis with the gentility of a professional gunfighter. In 1970, at 22 years old, Rosie reached her first U.S. Open singles final and was ranked number three in the world. It was then, at the top of her game, she risked everything to become a member of the original nine, a game-changing decision that would pave the way for generations of women tennis players to come. Say hi, ladies. Hi. The word is that you gals are renegades. She's a killer. We were so fortunate that we had nine individual women who thought the same way, striving for equal prize money. We wanted to be pros and we wanted to make a living. She would go on to win the tour's inaugural event by beating Australia's Judy Dalton in the finals of the Virginia Slims Invitational. I don't even think we thought we were going to fail. We were so tuned in to the fact that this was the right thing to do. Rosemary's quite a colorful character. The girls really get a kick out of her on the tour. In her remarkable career, Casals racked up 1,103 wins. She's won 595 single matches and 508 doubles matches. In a seven-year span, she and Billie Jean King won the Wimbledon doubles crown five times. Great touch by Casals, and Billie Jean gave a big bow to Rosie. To this day, Casals and King are the only pair to win U.S. titles on all three surfaces. Rosie's 112 doubles titles rank her second all-time behind Martina Navratilova. She's been inducted into the International Tennis Hall of Fame twice, first in 1996 for her doubles accomplishments, and again in 2021 as a member of the original nine. Bye. Making history is all about timing, and I think we came at the right time. Really thankful for their sacrifice that here we are at 50 years, improving so much, and imagine what another 50 war will be. Just like fire, turning up the way, rocking like the world up for just one day. Keep that ceiling, what you gonna say? No one can be just like me anyway. Her fans call her Rosebud. Her peers call her the general. We call her a legend whose extraordinary legacy is an inspiration to us all. Please welcome our 2023 Legacy Honoree, Rosie Casals. <laughs>